Filipinos are known to be one, if not the most hospitable and friendliest people in the world. Such is our inherent desire to accommodate visitors, relative or not, and make sure they have a comfortable and memorable stay while in our care. A testament of the Filipinos' friendliness are the countless testimonials of foreigners who have experienced the extraordinary care and friendship that we genuinely offer. I love Philippines. I love Philippines. I love Philippines. I love Philippines. These positive experiences keeps them coming back others even opting to stay here for good. However, being hospitable and friendly are just but two of the many classic and trademark Filipino traits and values. Today, let us revisit how our values as Filipinos have originated, evolved, forgotten, or stayed true to themselves in this era where a hybrid of modern and classic values clash. Here on Dynamic Living, The Total You. Welcome to Dynamic Living in Focus. We are actually going to discuss something that is very close to our very hearts, the values of Filipinos today. As we can see, there may be some changes, but then at the end of it, we are still all Filipinos. So magandang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga tagapagpanood at tagapagpakinig. We are very much honored to have with us in the studio our friend here, Miss Pauline Bautista, a values educator. Magandang araw sa iyo, Miss Pauline. Magandang araw, Dr. Jean. Very happy to be back. Here. Yes, you have been with us, no? Yeah. And you are again with us. So magandang maganda yung ating talakayan ngayon, Miss Pauline, kasi minsan naiisip natin, saan ba patutungo ang Pinoy? Ha? O saan ba tayo nang galing? O ano kaya ang meron tayo na we can be truly proud of. So we'll start off with the word na pag sinabi nating eh, value, value formation, values na isang tao. Ano po ang ibig sabihin kaya nito? Okay, first value, what is a value, no? A value is something that we hold important. Mm -hmm. And that becomes the basis for our decision making. Okay, so something that we hold as important. Yes. So ibig sabihin Kung hindi mo siya bibigyan ng kahalagahan, that means na hindi siya ganun ka-valuable sa'yo. Di ba? Ve Parang ganun. Very interesting kasi ang translation ng value sa Tagalog is kahalagahan. Yes. Uh -huh. So, yun yung maganda doon. No? So, bakit natin masasabi, Miss Pauline, you being a values educator, so, ibig sabihin, eh, you try to help mold students, mm -hmm. you know, who have already been having these values started at home, mm -hmm. Kumbaga, eh, ini-enhance na lang ng school or ng mga, ng mga mentors kagaya ninyo. Mm -hmm. So, wh why is it very important that from the home to the school, back to the homes, eh, kailangan na iisa lang yung direction natin when we talk about values or value formations? Because there's only one child mm -hmm. with one mind. So, what is very effective is if what the child experiences at home is consistent with what the child experiences in the school and in his immediate community, then mas madali niyang magagrasp mm -hmm. yung mga kahalagahan na dapat ay makuha niya doon. Mm -hmm. Diba? Para nagre-reinforce yung social environment. Pero kung sakaling nagkaroon ng kunyari, hindi tugma. Kunyari, heto yung natutunan sa bahay o hindi natutunan sa bahay. Pagdating sa paralan o kaya doon sa social environment niya, eh hindi nagtugma yun. Will there, will there be a crisis in terms of how the child, let's talk about the child first before we go into the adults, how the child will now, you know, react and interact? Siguro yung problema sa inconsistencies would be, mahihirapan siya mag-integrate mm -hmm. nung kanyang experiences. So, paano niya ito i-apply sa kanya? Mm -hmm. So, meron pa siyang one extra step on having to always discern mm -hmm. what choices he should make. No? Para bang, in other words, mas madali sa bata na matuto kung yung kanyang natututuhan ay consistent everywhere. Tama. Hindi sila nagko-contradict. Uh -huh. Totoo yan, ano? Kasi tingnan natin yung mga kabataan natin. Minsan uwi ng bahay. Sasabihin sa atin na, Mami, bakit ganito? 
di ba? So, mm -hmm. dapat, eh, ang tanong noon, eh, hindi, bakit ganito? Kung di, ah, heto tapat ang aking ginagawa, di ba? Pero heto, Miss Pauline, eh, titingnan natin, when you look at history, no? Mm -hmm. Tayo, siguro, nasa edad na, mas bata ka pa sa akin, eh, na, nasa edad tayo na, yung mga natutunan natin noong araw, at ngayon ay eh, gusto nating ipamana sa ating mga kabataan ngayon. Eh makikita natin there is a change in the landscape somewhat. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, matanong kita eh, heto bang mga values na meron tayo na pass on from generation to generation? Kasi I'm pretty sure these are all passed on from generation to generation. And that what makes us as a, as a you know, as a Filipino people collectively no mm -hmm. sa tingin mo ba eh eto mga values na natutunan natin is handed down also from those um, different era na napunta dito sa atin like Japan like America like Spain no nandito sila for quite some time eh. do you mm -hmm. think that has impacted also the kind of values that we have the social environment is the context in which values are formed mm -hmm. diba so like even tayo the reason we are the way we are right now is because of a whole history of experiences that our ancestors mm -hmm. up to our parents mm -hmm. have experienced in the social, in the physical, in the economic, and in the cultural environment. So we all exist in a dynamic environment for forming and transforming and highlighting mm -hmm. values. Gusto ko yung sinasabi mong highlight, transform, inform. Eh, mm -hmm. Di ba? So, kung, kung titingnan mo yun, kung susundan ko yung sinasabi mong yan, um, the, the positive values, let's talk about positive first. Ako, I always mm -hmm. like to start with the positive over the negative. Eh, kasi pag negative, parang negative vibes yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the positive. Can we name some of these positive values na, kumbaga, passed on from generation to generation na tayo ngayon, gusto din natin ipamana sa ating mga kabataan? Ako, one of the values that I really appreciate is our high regard for elders. Mm -hmm. Because there is so much wisdom to be learned from elders. And if we regard them highly, then we communicate with them. And para bang nagkakaroon tayo ng we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Because we already learned much from their own experiences. Now, that would be one. The other value that I have come to appreciate even more deeply now is the indigenous value of sharing. Mm -hmm of sharing resources. Um, of course, it's more complex now, mm -hmm. but if you're thinking in terms of the past, when you have a uh, communal land, for Ito example. Ito yung sinasabi mong bayanihan, kasama doon, di ba? Kasama doon, uh -huh. pero like, if, if we're talking even in terms of indigenous mm -hmm. societies, they had a communal land. And it's easy for them to share the resources that come from the land. So that is something that, of course, can only be sustained if they have land. That's true. Yeah. Uh -huh. So kung wala naman, eh, ano naman pwede nilang i-share. Pero hetong pagiging hospitable natin, mm -hmm. Miss uh, Pauline, eh, di ba parang mapapansin natin na isa sa traits natin yan or values na carried on and handed down from generation to generation. Napaka-hospitable natin. Mm -hmm. Kung baga to the point, meron nga tayong texter na nagsabi na kahit walang-wala na, iaalok mo pa. Mm -hmm. I think that is also rooted in the value of sharing mm -hmm. that has been present, you know, throughout our history. One of the most touching stories that I ever heard was by a Blaan widow. Mm -hmm. Her husband was shot, but she was telling us that he was trying to defend their land. And because in their culture, if somebody hunts and captures a baboy ramo, mm -hmm. the entire tribe will eat for that day. And then tomorrow, somebody else will catch the baboy ramo, and then it will be shared again. Mm -hmm. So they make sure that every single person eats during that day. Uh -huh. yeah. So, ang ganda, no? Kasi, uh -oh. ibig sabihin, eh, you are not just looking after your own self or after your own needs, but in other words, you want it to be a... Kumbaga, eh, you want to exp 
expand and let it grow so yes. that everybody now will share the bounty that you have. Yes, that's oh. part of our culture. That's part of our indigenous culture. You'll see it in the north, in the south, central, everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've noticed And that. I think it is still true today. Eh? Pero siguro different way by which they show that. No? Hindi na siguro kasing tindi nung ginagawa nung araw, nung kapanahonan na yon. But we would see that yung ating pagiging sharing and hospitable is still really rooted. Eh? So aside yes. from that, when, when we talk about, you said, uh, respect for the elderly, itong sharing na indigenous culture natin, eh, meron naman tayong nasasabi din na meron tayong negative aspect ng ating tinatawag na pagiging values ng ating pagka-Pilipino. Eh. If you, I were to ask you, give me the three most na sa tingin mo, eh, negative talaga na dapat eh, we need to do something about it. What would be that? As a home economist, okay, uh -huh. yung nakikita ko, actually dalawa yung pinaka outstanding in my mind All na right. medyo negative. One is yung ating sense of health consciousness from our diet. Diba? Bakit naging negative siya? Negative, ta negative in the sense na madaming may mga heart diseases. Uh -huh. And that's really lifestyle-based, di ba? Mm -hmm. Siguro hindi lang sa Pilipinas, pero since I'm a Filipino, I would be concerned mm -hmm. na kailangan talagang mapalitan natin yung ating values about food choices. Mm -hmm. okay. Of course, masarap talaga yung mga kakanin, masarap yung mga tatamis. But we need to regulate our intake, especially when you're 50 already like me. Mm -hmm. And then the other one would be, nakikita ko din, is if you look at our environment, minsan, madami talagang garbage. So it also has a lot to do with how we dispose of our garbage. How we acquire, use, dispose of things around us. So mm -hmm. yun yung dalawang values talaga that I would hope can be transformed mm -hmm. sa grade school education pa lang. Yeah, alam mo, pag mapapansin mo nga, kung titingnan mo, minsan napapadaan ako elementary school, pero ang palibot nila ang dumi. Mm -mm. Eh, diba? Parang nakakalungkot na, hey, you're in a school, you're being taught all these things like cleanliness, you know, being mindful of your garbage. Mm -hmm. How come yung surroundings in the area where the school is, eh ganun yung nangyayari, di ba? So nakakalungkot siya kasi dapat as young as they are when they're placed in school, that has already been modeled inside the homes. Eh. Because as you said kanina, the values will always start in the homes where the children are. Eh. At saka, your experience of your environment will reinforce what is important to you and what is not. If you get used to an environment that has a lot of garbage, it becomes your norm. Mm -hmm. Kaya mag kailangan dito, transformation talaga, parang make the children aware that, hey, there's a possibility of not having garbage, of having a very, very clean, clutter-free environment and it makes you happy, right? Not only yeah. makes you happy, it protects your environment actually. Yeah, Kasi also. kung mapapansin mo nga, itong mga floodings natin na to eh, mm -hmm. dahil naman naklog yung ating mga, yung ating mga drainage natin, ang daming basura pag kinukuha mo na, nagpo-float na sa karagatan, yeah, di ba? Yeah. So, I think that that's right eh. Pero when you talk about a Filipino who, you know, who is not really mindful of time, mm -hmm. Di ba napapansin din natin yan? Not mindful of time. Para bang we always have the luxury of taking our own sweet time. So how do you, you know, how would you be able to um, relate that to our current situation na dapat eh, yung mga kabataan natin ngayon at bukas eh matuto naman na time is of the essence. Actually, what's interesting now is Mas madali nga for people to be on time kasi you can already use ways mm. to, 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 guide to, you. to guide you on what time you should leave and, and not. Uh -huh. And because traffic is a reality, mm -hmm. we need to really um, make sure that it is an element when we plan our day. No? I think what is important lang is for people to remember that when you're late, you're wasting somebody else's time mm -hmm. that could be used for something else rather than waiting for you. But it's not just about waiting, ma'am, Miss Pauline. It's something like you need to do something and yet you postpone it. Yung tinatab tinatawag natin, ah, mamaya na lang yan, mamaya na lang, o oh, kaya bukas na lang yan. The sense of urgency, mm -hmm. diba? Uh -huh. where we don't have a sense of urgency and I think if you read the history books, Makikita mo din, it's because yung weather natin is very, very tropical and very, very comfortable. 
and that's part of it. No, wala tayong sense of urgency na oh, kailangan tayo mag-gather agad ngayon kasi next week wala nang pagkain, mahuhulog na lahat ng leaves from the trees, you know. So, it also is because I think no, yung climate natin is medyo relax, relax mm -hmm. lang talaga. So, when you were still very much actively involved in the training of children for values for would you say, Miss Pauline, that the children that you used to taught, or uh, yeah, taught years back, now that they're already adults, and you get to see them, syempre, minsan, magkakakitaan kayo, hindi namang hindi po pwede, no? Mm -hmm. What is that one thing that you believe na you have taught them well in terms of the values that they would be carrying with them wherever they go? That's a really interesting question. Um, I think what is most fulfilling to me is when I know that they had a goal back then. For example, when they were in college, they had a goal that we discussed as part of their coursework. And then they achieve it. Mm -hmm. So it's really the, the value of self-knowledge, knowing what you want. Mm -hmm. Self-confidence, knowing that you can achieve what you want. And it's also a sense of being realistic. Mm -hmm knowing what you can do what you cannot do knowing what you can change what you cannot change and being able to discern your actions based on what you know you know i like what you're saying because eh. sabihin, you know your limitations yes but you important. know also yeah you also know up to where you can be so th that's stretching the limit at the same time knowing your limits eh. mm -hmm. we'll take a very short break miss pauline and when we return we'll continue on with our discussion on the values of filipinos today because some more beautiful questions are coming your way. Please stay tuned to Hope Channel. Welcome back to Dynamic Living in Focus, the values of Filipinos today with our guest, a values educator, Miss Pauline Bautista. So, Ma'am Pauline, heto na ngayon. Meron kasing katanungan dito yung ating viewer or pinost na kasi natin to sa Facebook yung ating show na ito, no? The topic. So, sabi niya sa... Isa dito nagsabi, I am so proud to be a Pinoy because we have that fighting spirit. So, okay. yung kanya is, it's a comment and it's an affirmation na he is very proud to be, to be called a Filipino because of our fighting spirit. Okay. So, mm -hmm. how, how would you take that? I think, fighting here is positive mm -hmm. it means that you try to conquer the obstacles mm -hmm. that are confronting you so that you can achieve what you want yes and so in a way it's positive it is very positive actually we can see that the resilience i would call that resiliency or adaptability of a person di ba? Mm -hmm. marami sa ating mga kababayan na umaalis dito sa bansa natin to find greener pastures mm -hmm. y you know it's not easy for them to be there and yet, they're able to withstand the loneliness, homesickness, mm -hmm. and even the challenges of their work. So, fighting mm -hmm. spirit. Pangalawa is, may nagsabi dito, comment niya din to, kahit walang pera, mangungutang pag may birthday at saka fiesta para lang may maipakain sa iba. You <laughs> comment on this. <laughs> well, economically, it's not to your advantage, yes. lalo na kung may interest, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Pero kasi dito naman, I think na yung texter na to or viewer na to is trying to say lang siguro na minsan yung ating pagiging hospitable or sharing can also be, you know, bad in one way mm -hmm. if you did, really do not know how to handle it at one end, di ba? From a kunyari, home economist's viewpoint, ang sasabihin ko would be kung may birthday at gusto mag-celebrate, tingnan muna kung magkano yung nandoon mm -hmm. and mag-adjust. Mm -hmm. At kung wala, di wala. Di ba? Oo, pero kahit konti. Alam mo, like for example, kung gusto mo gumawa ng juice, pwede kang bumili ng kamote leaves, mm -hmm. tapos i-boil mo yun sa water, pigaan mo ng kalamansi. Masarap juice na yun. Na pink, magiging pink. Uh -huh. Pretty pa siya. <laughs> o kaya naman, nung araw, eh, alam mo, ewan ko, if you're familiar with tanglad. Ah, oo, lemongrass. Uh, lemongrass, oh, di ba? Ngayon, sikat na sikat siya. Yeah. Pagka, it's being served in oh. hotels and restaurants. You know, you have a lemongrass juice. So, sounds good. So, mm -hmm. uh, tastes even better. Pero, if you look at it, tanglad is just everywhere. Yeah. And, sino naka-invento na gawing juice, di ba? So, ngayon, if gusto mong maghanda, ah, wala ka naman, at maraming tanglad, pwede mong gawin yun. Exactly. Part of the fighting spirit, di ba? Uh -huh. Be resourceful. Be resourceful. Uh -huh. Hanap ka. Uh -huh. So, heto uh -huh. ngayon, 
Heto, what bothers me about the Filipino values of today na topic is actually very simple. Alam natin, millennials. Mm -hmm. Okay? Alam natin, mga kabataan natin, millennials na yan sila eh. Mm -hmm. Alam din naman natin, yung social media, grabe ngayon eh. In, from, from your point of view, Miss Pauline, eh, sinabi natin social media. Do you believe that social media has exerted so much or influenced so much the values that we have today? Or would you say na, well, yung values natin nung araw, yung pagiging magalang natin, yung pagiging masunuri natin, yung pagiging respectful natin, and nandun pa din, despite this influx of social media? Okay, that's a very complex question kasi... First, tinanong natin yung mga values na pagiging magalang, mm -hmm. part of social media. I would say na nakaka-reinforce on one end mm -hmm. ng values ang social media, including television, because what you see is what you gain, mm -hmm. right? So parang modeling din yan eh. Mm -hmm. Mga um, sitcoms, mga skits. Children can really model after that. On the other hand, pati yung mga negative traits mm -hmm. or negative ways of interacting with one another, nakukuha din yan sa media, whether it's reality TV or whether it's news reporting or whether it's actually a drama series. Mm -hmm. So madame and, and that is why parents still have to control what their young children are watching are watching mm -hmm. diba? but then of course when they grow older they will be more independent in their choices and parents don't really have as much control because it's it's more accessible to children of all ages and without not parents not only more accessible miss pauline it's more of you know parang minsan ang kakulangan din nating mga magulang i'm now talking as a parent because i'm a parent eh. minsan eh, in our very busy lives we tend to just leave our children in front of the television sets kasi mm -hmm. para hindi tayo may storbo, magawa natin, dapat natin gawin, di ba? Actually, it is a babysitter. <laughs> di ba? Kaya nga, napakahalaga na namamonitor pa rin mm -hmm. kung ano ang napapanood nila. Because it can also be good. You can really learn a lot of things mm -hmm. on TV. But you can also learn a lot of things that you should not be learning, mm -hmm. you know, on TV. So what would be our advice to our parents, lalo na, lalo na, or our, our mentors, our mga professors, our teachers, when they, when they try to reinforce the good values? Kasi meron mm -hmm. tayong not so positive values. We also have positive values. The more positive values in terms of how our children, particularly the millennials, interact with the social media. It depends on the age that your children mm -hmm. are in because the younger they are, the more control you have over what they see and what they mm -hmm. experience. So my suggestion would be, while your kids are very, very young and you have a lot of authority over them, use the time mm -hmm. to select what penetrates their senses, what forms their consciousness. Mm -hmm. Because it's a very short period mm -hmm. of time. It's a very small window. And I think it's getting smaller. Smaller each for, day. Huh? Yeah, for parents to be able to control, monitor what comes in to their child's consciousness. Mm -hmm. Tama ka. Kasi pag mapapansin nga natin, pagka nagkaisip na sila, and they have their own set of friends, eh, minsan sila na mismo namimili. And you would, you know, pag talikot mo niyan, wala na kung ano na yung pinapanood o ano na yung pinaparinggan nila, no? Yeah. So, I mean, that's right. Eh, as young as they are, we should be able to inculcate already the positive values into our children's minds. Eh. Mm -hmm. Pero would you say, heto ngayon ha, isa sa ating negative impact with the high or the fast uh, life that we are living today in society. Now, still, we're talking about the Filipino values. Eh, ang mga kabataan ngayon, they're getting younger when they have so much depression. Mm -hmm. And then suicidal tendencies are very high. Mm -hmm. So, ano kaya ang pwede natin gawin pag sinabi natin na the values of a Filipino today should be more than ever be in demand or must needed siya so that these young people will understand na hey life is really difficult but then you have you know you have to be brave enough to face it i think the values of caring mm -hmm. the values of communication are very important so that we know what's going on in the mm -hmm. lives of our children you know and of the youth at the same time it's a very good time to be around as a parent, as an educator. Kasi ang dami ng 
platforms mm -hmm. for learning more information, like you mentioned, suicide. Mm -hmm. Ang dami ng um, workshops, di ba? Ang dami ng literature on it. So a lot more can also be learned mm -hmm. because of social pero, media. Pero I like what you said that the value of caring yes. should be, you know, one of the values that we should be able to instill again. Mm -hmm. eh. Kahit tayo siguro mga may edad na, no? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the young people, they look up to us. Eh. Mm -hmm. And so pag hindi natin na-transmit sa kanila yun na we care about them, we care about who they would want to be, but I mean, you know, that, that's gonna impact also the way they see things in life. Yes, and the thing is that in order to express that you care for someone, you need time. Mm -hmm. So time is still very, very important. Person-to-person -person communication is still very, very important, mm -hmm. even amidst technology-assisted communication. Ay, nako, nabanggit mo yung technology oh. na yan, Miss Pauline. <laughs> eh. Makikita mo kumakain, lahat busy sa cellphone, yeah. pero hindi na sila nag-uusap. Sa loob ng isang bahay, nandun lang sila. Hindi sila nag-uusap, cellphone pa din. Andi dito ako sa room ko, o oh, nandun siya sa kabilang room. The cell phone pa rin, di ba? Even when you communicate with your child, nakatext ka lang, si anak nakatext sa'yo. How do you feel about that? You know, on one end, it's really very positive. Kasi like when my kids are abroad, mm -hmm. we continue communicating on a daily, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Meron pang video calls, yes. di ba? So, on one end, it's a really good way to keep families together across the miles. I think the negative part lang of there would be of there have being too much technology assisted communication is that we don't make time for person to person communication. Mm -hmm. But one funny thing is I've actually experienced cooking dinner and then sending a message to all my kids to say, mm -hmm. okay, calm down, dinner's ready. <laughs> you know? Pero siguro, if you use it that way, then it becomes positive. Yeah, you, Pero you if, can. If you, if you don't even, you know, get to see each other anymore, and you're just in one place, in a very small place, kasi lahat nga gadget na nga lang yung kaharap, di ba? Yeah. So, uh, for every thing that we are talking about, there will always be a positive and a negative yes. side. So, yes. kung baga, it's finding the right balance for exactly. you to be more on the positive. You let it work for you, diba? Mm -hmm. Let it work, let technology work for you to be able to transmit the values that you would like the next generation to acquire from mm -hmm. you. Which, may follow up ako dyan. What values would you want your children to acquire so that, you know, that will be a legacy handed down from you to them and which they would be bringing down to the next generation? Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, ang dami nun. <laughs> Siguro top of mind, it would be a sense of purpose. You mm -hmm. know, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why do you do what you do? Just that sense of meaning mm -hmm. in life, that life itself is valuable. Second, siguro would be that they are valuable. They are valuable to me, they are valuable to society. And then you would also want to be able to transmit the good habits that mm -hmm. have worked in your own life so that they will also have happy and fulfilling lives, mm -hmm. right? Sense of um, vision. Mm -hmm. Knowing how to get to that vision would be working towards that vision, being realistic, right? Being very, very practical. And then there are the personal traits that make it easy for people to get along well with you mm -hmm. and to accomplish things as a team, you know, like the, vis uh, the values of honesty, of being very prudent in what you do, meaning you make decisions before you act, mm -hmm. right? And then what else? Um, Caring for one another, that's very, very important. Respect for people, a sense of responsibility over mm -hmm. what is yours to govern. Mm -hmm. So many, many values, but I think basically the point would be, what are the um, habits, the moral habits that they need to acquire while they are in our homes so that when they build their own homes, they will also be able to live fulfilling, healthy lives. Uh -huh. And in doing that, kasi, you're able to transmit it to another person, di ba? Parang sinasabi na, pay it forward palagi, mm -hmm. di ba? And siguro one of the values na no, noon tayo mga Filipinos is actually our religiosity, no? Yung parang yung sense natin of always being connected to our maker. 
I think that's one of the values that is very important that we can highlight, highlight to the, you know, to the millennials, to the young generations, and to those who are coming after us, diba? Yes, I think that a sense of connection to our Creator is part of what gives us purpose, mm -hmm. diba? It becomes a foundation for many other decisions that we make yes in life. thank you so much miss pauline you know i'm always excited talking to you every time and i learn from you no so what would you like to tell our viewers okay for the parents yes who are watching i think i would like to share that values formation is the most natural natural endeavor for parents and you can also make it very, very purposeful. So know what you want your children to learn from you and model it well. Mm -hmm. And so when we are able to show that to the world, then we are able to showcase what a Filipino culture is all about, all about the race, all about our values. At sabi nga po sa Deuteronomy 11.19, teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit down at home and when you are walking as well as when you lie down and when you get up. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. If you have been blessed by this program, share hope and help us continue to bring hope everywhere. Send your donations to South Philippine Union Conference through any of the bank details shown here. Hope Channel, sharing love, changing lives.